Hi, in this video training we will be learning about NumPy unfunks. So what are ufunks? Ufunks stand for universal functions and they are NumPy functions that operates on the ND array object. So why use ufunks? Ufunks are used to implement vectorization in NumPy which is way faster than iterating over elements. They also provide broadcasting and additional methods like reduce, accumulate, etc. that are very helpful for computation. Ufunks also take additional arguments like where boolean array or conditional defining where the operations should take place. D type defining the return type of elements out output array where the return value should be copied. Okay, so what is vectorization? Converting iterative statements into a vector based operation is called vectorization. It is faster as modern CPUs are optimized for such operations. Add the elements of two lists, list 1, list 2. On the way of doing it is to iterate over both of the list and then sum each element. Let's look at this program. Without ufunc, we can use Python's built-in zip method. So basically what we can do is we can declare a third array which is z and it is an empty array. So what we are going to do is we are going to loop through the arrays x and y and append its value into z the sum of it in z and when you will print it you will get 5 7 9 and 11 so that this is a conventional method of ha uh, taking getting the sum of two arrays numpy has a u func for this called add which takes two parameters x and y that will produce the same result. With ufunc we can use the add function. So it's quite simple in python numpy using the ufunc method add. So first of all let's create a project file for this video training. And I'll call it numpy ufunc.py and okay import numpy as np and then we have an array x and let's save one two three four we have array y five six seven eight and when we have z equals np dot add and we can pass in the two arrays print z save the file go to the console run the program numpy.ufunc you see we have got 6 8 10 and 12 on the console as an output which is the sum of the two arrays so see how the ufunc method add made it quite simple to add two arrays and print the sum you can also create your own ufunc function to create your own ufunc you have to define a function like you do with normal functions in python then you add it to your numpy ufunc library with the from py func method the from py func method takes the following ar arguments the first is the function the name of the function then the inputs the number of input arguments and then we have outputs the number of outputs arrays so let's create your own ufunc for addition. Okay. Copy this and add two arrays using numpy ufunc add method. Okay, let's copy this. Command this out. We have it here. Okay create your own new funk addition method and okay let's define a function def my add 
which takes two arguments x and y and it returns x plus y okay so we have my add equals to np dot from py func and the first parameter is the function name the second is the the second one is the inputs arguments and third one is the output arguments so we have this and let's use this function print my add and let's pass the first array argument and the second argument okay let's clear these ones save the file go to the console and we run the same program again okay we s it says invalid syntax let's debug this from py from py func okay i forgot to add the equal sign here so let's add that go to the console run the program you see we have got the same functionality add the u func add built-in function and this time we have created our own addition function which produces the same result okay uh, there's a way to check if the function type of function is a u func or not a function should return a u func should return class numpy dot u func so to check if a function is a u func function let's print the type of the function check the type of function import numpy as np okay print type np dot add okay save the file run the program you see we have got numpy dot ufunc this means that this function add is a numpy ufunc function okay check the type of another function concatenate let's check the type of concatenate function concatenate save the file run the program this time we got built-in function or method this means that this function is not a numpy ufunc but this is a python built-in function or method Okay, to test if the function is a ufunc in an if statement use the numpy ufunc value or numpy ufunc if you use npy as an alias for numpy use an if statement to check if the function is a ufunc or not let's look at a simple example check in if if statement if the function is a u func function okay so first we import the numpy library okay second we say if type np dot add and we say we don't need this okay equals double equals np dot u func print add is u func okay what and else part we say print add is not u func okay save the file run the program you see we have got add is u funcs this means that it is checking the type of add function with np.ufunc 
So if it, it matches, then we know for sure that this function is a ufunc numpy function. I hope that you have learned about ufunc functions in Python and how to use them and how to create your own ufunc function. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time with a new topic in Python numpy.